Hey everyone, it's Kurt Covert with Smirk and Dagger Games. Uh, I want to talk to you just a moment about the Tower of Madness and how to set it up. By the way, the tower itself is magnetic, as you may have seen. And when it, uh, when it ships, it's flat like this. Um, now we've done a couple things in order to, uh, to make this more durable. And one of them is we've created a V-channel. So when it folds, it creates a rigid, stable edge for the tower. Now, that combined with the laminate that we've put on the tower, um, that laminate has tightened a little bit, so as you get the, the tower, it, the magnets may not have the power to really close effectively uh, when you first get it, but all you need to do is take this tower and then just give it a little flex. Diamond shape, diamond shape, and that is going to really do it. That'll wear in all those folds. Now the same thing is true of the t uh, the tower roof. Uh, it's also magnetic and here click like that. Uh, again, this is something that if you create, you know, squish a little bit of a diamond shape with this tower, you can see it this way too. Those flanges connect on the inside like this. And just flexing that will give it some memory. Now, the other problem uh, that some people have experienced, um, you'll notice there are little flanges right here. Um, some of the flanges at the factory were not pre-folded in a little bit. So people have been wondering how the tower actually fits on the top. These flanges just have to be flexed in. And sometimes you might even have to use two fingers just to get a nice fold so that folds in. So you can see right there, now that is tucked in just a little bit. And now when you place the tower, you just push those all on the sides just in a little bit and it'll slip right on top of there. And that should all stay together very nicely. Now occasionally, based on the cut and how this is flexing, you might get a little bit of an edge showing. That's okay. That's natural. Um, now, let's talk about actually putting the tentacles in. All right, so you just go in the green hole, and it goes right across, directly opposite to the opposite hole, whereas these side holes actually go catty corner all the way to the other side like this. So if this one comes in this side, it's going all the way right there. Now you can see the cross lattice work that's going to hold all the marbles. Okay, so here with all the tentacles inserted, we're just going to pour the marbles into the top. And again, this is, this is what the directions actually instruct you to do. Um, now, having done that, what you do is you gently shake the tower back and forth like this. Now, what you're going to have to do as you're doing that is occasionally tuck the tentacles back in. They are going to have the tendency to want to wiggle out. And once the marbles uh, are down there, getting them back in is tough. So make sure you're constantly putting them back in. Okay. And once, once one of these marbles falls out, you know that they're percolated all the way through the tower. And you just drop the other one in the top. All that said, there is a slightly easier way to load the tower filled with marbles. Um, you can just put in about half of the tentacles all the way around the bottom of the tower. And now with half the sticks in, we're just gonna pour about half of the marbles into the top. And now, you simply put the uh, next, uh, all the rest of the tentacles in, and you pour the rest of the marbles in. Now, why didn't I suggest that in the rules, since that is actually a lot simpler? Well, the reason is that some people get all freaked out that people are now going to look down to the tower as they guide these in, and they're going to see the marbles. So, to prevent that concern, that's why the original rules exist. But for a casual game, which this is, this is actually a little bit easier and something you can try. And now you're ready to play. 
hopefully this was helpful uh, and showed you um, how to make sure this assembles correctly uh, and so you can get the best use out of it.